Hey everyone, it's Strubbers. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new playthrough. And yes, we are playing PGR2 again. I'm a bit obsessed with the game. But anyway, as you can tell by the title, we are doing a platinum playthrough, but this time it's going to be a handicap one. So I'll explain what that means. So basically, I'm going to be using the, the worst cars in the class that are capable of a platinum medal in that specific event. So I don't mean I'm going to be using like the Volvo uh, SUV and getting all platinum in that or the Mazda MX-5 and getting all platinum in that. Um, I'm going to be using the car that can do it on platinum, but it's the worst out of the lot that can do it, if that makes any sense. So first of all, I'm going to be um, comparing the cars in the class and just, you know, ranking them from worst to best. And I am um, rating them from how they perform in their class. So with all these events, how do these cars perform? I'm not talking about like which car's better in a straight line, which one can beat the other one around the Nürburgring, just how they are on these specific events. So I have um, got a spreadsheet already and I can refer to that just to see where I've ranked them. So for the Compact Sports Series, which is obviously what we're starting off with, I'll be doing um, one series per episode as well, by the way. So... We've got the three starter cars, and the worst out of the lot is the Mini Cooper. Um, it's just too slow. It's got decent handling, but the acceleration is not good, and it's front-wheel drive, so it gets a pretty poor launch. So that's in last place. Then we've got the Volkswagen Beetle, which is better. It's better acceleration, four-wheel drive, so it gets a decent launch, which is important in these short events as well. Um, the handling's pretty poor, though, and it's just not quick, really. It's quicker than the Mini, but it's still not quick. And then the Seat's the last of the starter cars, which is the best out of, the, out of those three. And it's pretty decent, to be honest. Not too bad. It's when it starts. The jump between the Beetle and the, the Seat is quite a lot, actually. So, yeah, it's quite capable. And then next, I had the Lancia Delta. Um, the top speed is terrible, but again, this doesn't come into account really on these tracks too badly. Um, the handling's pretty good, though, so that's how it's sort of... It's above the Seat. I think the Seat is actually quicker, to be honest. But the Seat's front-wheel drive, but it does launch okay, considering. So that was... Uh, yeah, the Delta was there, the Lancia. Then, I was quite surprised by the Honda Civic, actually. It is actually pretty capable. So I put that in fourth place uh, behind the big boys in this uh, in this group. And um, I think it's... Yeah, it's decent all round, really. Not too bad. Maybe not quite as quick top speed, but again, that doesn't really matter. And then there's a big jump again. So we've got the top three, which is the uh, the Golf R32. Everybody already knows these anyway, but um, the Golf R32 is in third. It's quite a big step up from the Honda. It's it's decent. It's good all-round stats. Uh, then we've got the Clio, which is in second. So it's just better acceleration. I, I don't think the handling's much better than the Golf. I think they're pretty similar. It's rear-wheel drive. The only one in the class that's rear-wheel drive, and it does get a good launch. Both of these get a good launch. And then obviously we've got the Focus RS, which is just the best. Front wheel drive, so it doesn't get a brilliant launch, but um, I don't like the handling of this car particularly, but it does the business, it's quick, and it is the best in the class. So um, I've got a spreadsheet of them, like I said. I will show you at the end um, exactly what the spreadsheet's about, because I've given them points for what uh, medal they can achieve in each event, so I've sort of ranked them based off that. But anyway, without further ado, we go into the first race, which is a street race. And uh, the three opponents in here are all of the three star cars. So it goes without saying that we can use all the cars to do this on Platinum. And we've got to start with the worst car out of the lot, which is the Mini. So we'll be using that in this one. And uh, yeah, let's go on with it. Right, so here we go then. First race, this is like really easy, to be honest. Like the hardest car in there is the Seat. And... Uh, with a decent launch, we can try and catch them up. Things do get really hard in this playthrough, like really difficult. I've already been completely taken out by the uh, Beetle there. Yeah, so I'll, I will end up actually in quite a lot of it just not talking because I'm be concentrating that much, to be honest. I've been taken out a lot already. And I, I haven't warmed up yet either, so I'm probably going to do pretty poor lines, to be honest. Get stuck behind this sea up. But we do have to just stay in the draft zone to even stick with the sea, and it is still pulling away slightly. Yeah, and there we go. Always gone two wheels around there. But the nice thing about these events is they're very short, so it's not too strenuous really. 
The Mini actually handles really, really well as well. It's, you know, it's not bad at all. I've absolutely butchered that line. But you can feel its front-wheel drive. It is a bit odd handling-wise. There we go, though. First one, nice and easy. That is not really a handicap, to be honest, because they're all in the start cars anyway, so it's not too bad. And yeah, on we go. And we get two kudos tokens. We're not really bothered about that. Right, so the next one is a one-on-one, -on -one, and it's against the Lancia Delta Integrale. And um, the, the Lancia is actually quite a bit quicker than this car. So you have to get a decent launch, and you have to sort of leap towards the first corner and try and cut him off. That is the only way you're going to actually get around him, to be honest. Um, in, the, in the other cars, it's quite easy, but in the Mini, it's the only real challenge, to be honest. It's very important to get in front of him as soon as you can. And he gets a much better launch. You have to get in the draft zone. Am I going to be able to cut in front of him here? As you can see, he's quite far ahead. No, but I might be able to get him here. Yep, just got him in front there. You can't actually beat him with normal driving, really, because he will get away. The only one with worse top speed than the Lancia is this car, the Mini. So I'll make sure he's not drafting us. I'm not very good at that corner, in all seriousness. It's got really good handling, that Lancia. That's where I'm not going to beat him around there. It's understeers like all hell, this car. He's still on my arse. That was a bit better then. And across the line. Not too bad. It's actually okay. If you can get ahead around that first corner. I actually missed him and got him on the second corner, but it was good enough. And we rank up again. We shouldn't be buying too many cars in this, to be honest. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Do we actually buy any cars in this? We have to buy one for the speed camera. Spoiler alert. Um, but um, we'll try this. This is actually crap as well, because front-wheel drive cars and sliding don't really go too well. But, um, yeah, this cone challenge should, shouldn't be too bad, though. We should be able to do this. Right. This is actually attempt number two. I got right to the end and messed up. I think the best one for this is definitely the, the Clio, because it's rear-wheel drive. And it just acts much better when you slide it. should be quick enough which is when we start getting to the later um, cone challenges it does start getting really difficult uh, that's going to time out Ooh, no it isn't just about okay is that good enough though I have no idea slide to finish I think we needed 1500 so I think that's actually alright that wasn't too bad. That was second time. Not too bad, really. And we keep ranking up every time. Like I said, we won't be buying too many cars. Right, this one-on-one -on -one is a bit annoying. This is against the uh, the Golf R32. And if you're in the Volkswagen Beetle, you get four-wheel drive launch. Obviously, the R32 gets a four-wheel drive launch. And the only way you can beat this car is if you dive bomb into the first corner, for some reason, he turns, like, right. He doesn't go around the corner normally. He, like tries to avoid you, so I, I'm i going to try it in the Mini. I'm pretty sure I did it in the Mini before um, f with a few attempts. You have to get the start exactly right, and then you just block the Golf all the way, basically. That's the uh, aim of this one. Oh, I just got him. That was really close. You can see just sort of pulls to the right a bit just to let you in. That took a lot of attempts to try and get him to do that. 
Clot often will just drive around normally and you can't influence that. That's a difficult corner to do. Right, we've got the lead on him here. Just got to block him on the straights, I guess. Oh, this car understeers so much. I haven't really driven the Mini for extended periods, especially on the uh, World Series. Right, we're actually got a decent lead here. I always fuck this corner up, though. It's understeers. You need to, like, sort of power slide around it, really, but... That was not really very good. Can we hold him off? Let's not let him in the slipstream. He's going to catch down here, though. That was good enough, but the golf's got superior handling, I think. Even though the handling stat doesn't show it, I think just because it's not front-wheel drive, it does handle better. Is he going to... Go for a stupid move here or not. Gonna have to go defensive. No, I think we got this. Yes. It's all literally all depends on the first corner. If you can get in front, especially with the one on ones, you can just block them. Street races are so much harder because you've you've got like five cars to try and overtake. And we've ranked up again, which is good. Uh, so yeah, by the way, I haven't really been talking about it, but if you can do those in the Mini, you can do them in any car. So you can do all of these in Platinum with every car. Now we move on to the fifth event, which is another street race. And uh, yeah, same again. We can try this in the Mini. I have done this before. And um, every car should be able to do this. So we'll give it our best shot. I think the Golf starts in first again. I think there's four cars in this. Honda Civic. And I want to say the Lancia as well. So you need to get past those as soon as you can and then try and catch up to the Golf. Oh man, this is difficult, this one. Can we do it? Oh, yes, that was a good corner. I've got to change gear, though. That's not really helpful. As long as he just doesn't overtake me again, that's fine. Right, this might be the one, because I'm fairly close to the golf coming into this technical section. Well, I couldn't be more on his tail right now. But he's going to drop me even with the slipstream. Or are we staying with him? This is interesting. I've never kept up with a golf before in a mini, but here we go. I'm going to dive bomb him. It barely worked, but it did just about. Man, that's taken quite a few attempts to try and get on his tail. That um, corner leading onto the straight before the finish is actually quite important because they go really wide there it's actually best chance on the hairpin they go really wide I've screwed that up doesn't matter though look look how wide they go it's a really strange line they take when you can actually cut most of it out I forgot to change gear again. Anyway, that's another one done in the Mini. So the first um, the first five events are possible with all the cars, which is good to know. Like I said, the Beetle will get a good launch here if you're going to use that instead. So, yeah, you can use any car. So we've got five Platinum Medals in the Mini. Now we move on to the Speed Camera. So I've really tried in both the Renault Clio and the Golf R32 and uh, I think I got 92 miles per hour in both of them. Um, and I just could not get 93. I've really tried over and over and over and over again. So we have to use the Focus RS. And with quite a few of these speed cameras, there is no handicap I can do with them. 
But um, I have managed to get 94 miles per hour in the Focus RS before. So that is the handicap I'm going to set myself, is I have to get one over the uh, the Platinum target. Yeah, like I said, in the Golf and the, um, the Renault, 92 is what I got. I could not get 93, so we'll see if we can get 94 again. Yes, done it. Oh, that was so close. It went from 93 to 94. If you're wondering why I pause it, you can pause it before the event finishes just to quickly restart it. Um, but just about managed 94 there. You have to get the line absolutely perfect. But uh, that's decent. And we keep ranking up every uh, event, which happens early on. So, uh, yeah, you have to buy the best car in the class for this. And it's going to be the same with all the speed cameras, pretty much. There is a few different ones where I managed it with other cars, but mainly you're going to have to use um, the best car. So on to the last street race. And what have I got here then? So the Mini, I tried, couldn't do it. Uh, the Beetle, I tried again, could not do it. So I'm going to go for the C at Leon here. The Beetle's just not quick enough. The Focus RS starts in first place in the street race, and then it's followed by the Renault Clio. And I think I managed to get gold in both the Mini and the Beetle, but I can't do Platinum. Um, so we're going for the Seat Leon. Let's go in black. And yeah, starting at the back in a six car race. It is pretty difficult, this one. Man, this is getting hard, this one. I try my best to do it. That focus is so quick, though. That was good enough. Ah, the focus is getting away already. I kind of need the Renault to be up there with the focus if I've got any chance of slowing the focus down. That's the thing. One point four. That's quite far behind at this point. Could use the runoff a bit more, but I think we've got the edge on the Focus's exit. But he's going to soon match our speed. I'm just understanding to the wall. Second. That's not really close enough. I have to get a really good exit here if I've got any chance. I'm still a second behind. That was really good. Oh, here we go. Going to go around the outside of him here. I'm actually ahead of him. Is he going to die bomb in this corner though? Probably is the answer. I had to go quite wide there. Oh, God. Two corners to go. That's really slow through there. Is he going to go for it? Oh, we've done it. Do you know what? That took a lot of attempts, not going to lie just managed to beat him in the city. You can see why that's impossible in the uh, the Volkswagen. Well, I think it's impossible. The thing is with street races is anything can happen in it. So, for example, the Ford could take out the Renault or both, you know, they could both wipe out and then you could just drive ahead of them. But the amount of the amount of times you'd have to restart the race for that to even happen, like there is a remote chance you can do that in the, the you know, the VW Beetle or the Mini, but it's just the chances of it so the street races are the ones that are a bit sort of hit and miss with if you can do them it does depend on the ai a lot whereas all the other types of events are pretty much nailed on if you can do them like the time runs the hot laps the cone challenges 
even the one-on-ones to a certain extent. But there you go. So that's the sports compact, sorry, the compact sports series done. We've just unlocked the sports convertible. So what I'll do now, guys, is I'll pull up the um, the table that I've done. So I've done an Excel spreadsheet, and uh, we can see on the screen right now. So we've got um, the worst to the best. So the worst is at the top of the compact sports, and then we go down to the best, and you can see uh, we've got like street race one, one versus one, number one. Then we've got CC, which is Cone Challenge. You can see the top row is what they are. And then, obviously, the, the letter is um, what uh, medal they've got. So the Mini Street Race 1 got Platinum, for example. So you can see, actually, it's pretty balanced, the group. It surprised me of how how many Platinum medals are available that you can use using most of the cars. So you can see the points at the end there. So the Focus RS is the only one that can do um, all of them on Platinum. So there's the key there as well. So for platinum, I've given them five points, gold, four points, silver, three points, bronze, two points, and steel, one point. So you can see the focus did everything. So we've got 35. Then we've got um, a big group of them that could do all the events on platinum apart from the speed challenge, which they could all get gold in. So that's the Seat, the Lancia, Honda, Civic, VW Golf, and the uh, Renault Clio. Obviously, the Renault Clio is far better than the see out Leon Cooper are. so they both have the same points for the series but it's going to be easier in the uh, the Clio obviously then we've got the, v the VW Beetle which got 33 points so that's um one off the others so it was the last event it could not get platinum in and then the Mini Cooper can only get silver in the speed challenge and that's because of its gearing so um, I think it might be third gear at the top of third gear it can't quite go fast enough to get gold you'd have to change gear and then by that time obviously you've gone past the ski the speed camera and then it can get gold in the last one so that's get 32 points so between the top and the worst there's only three points in it there but obviously the focus rs is way better than the mini but um anyway that's the first series done guys so it's fairly challenging i think the hardest one was probably that last one there um the street race in the, the Mini Cooper there is pretty difficult as well. And getting... Oh, I'd say the last three then, because getting 94 miles per hour took me a few attempts as well. Um, but then the next episode, we've got the Sports Convertible Series. So I think there's the same amount of events there and less cars. There's only six cars in that one. But um, we'll dive into that one next time. So I hope you enjoyed, as always, guys. A um, bit of a new series, bit of something different. But um, it's been fun so far, and hopefully it'll be fun in the future. So I'll catch you in part number two.